Episode 139, dude. Wow. Official episode. Sorry if you missed the Patreon. Not my fault. It's out of my control. What do you I mean? cannot help your stinginess. People, we did. We released a Patreon before this. Oh, yeah. So if you missed it, I can't help the fact that you're stingy. Excuse me. Yeah, pardon me. Yeah, prioritize. Pardon me. Sorry about that. Sorry. With us today, dude, Sid the fucking kid. What up, Sid? What's going on? Chilling, dude. So what you talking about right now? Nothing. I always thought it was uh, like, like uh, a pog. I always thought it was a pretty ass white girl. I didn't know it was fat. Like I, P-H-A-T. And uh, I don't think you're wrong. What? I'm going to settle this right now. Stand for <laughs> pissed Americans with guns. Ooh. Respect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's better. There we are. That's the best thing you can be. Yeah, send them in. Pissed oh. Americans with guns. Get <laughs> shit done, dude. Is that what pog porn's all about? They're just. I thought they were fat-ass white girls, but they're really just fucking pissed Americans with guns. It's all it's about. <laughs> it's all I, it's about. Yeah, I should have uh, watched further in. Dude's probably like, I love your fucking, the fact that yeah, you exercise, she's like, exercise you, your constitutional she's like, did you just fucking come in me? Did you just come in me? And then shits, <laughs> and gets a gun, just fires it in the air. Like an Arab at a birthday party. <laughs> you ever see the Arabs get fired up? Uh-uh. Just at celebrations. Just oh, and they non-stop. start yeah, they start firing AKs off, just straight in the air. Yeah, they party hard as fuck. Guns, like they do that. Guns. They do that in like movies. Something like so. I was watching that. Uh, I talked about it before that fucking uh, like the first people in at, after nine eleven, mm-hmm. and they were like in a secret hideout. And when like a group of people showed up, like a, like reinforcements showed up, all the Arabs were fired up and started shooting <laughs> the like, guns in the air. I was stop. like, what, what are you doing, dude? You gotta stop. be quiet. Stop wasting all. The yeah. Stop wasting the ammo. And now everyone in the the fucking vicinity knows where we are. That's so, so chill, dude. They're like, well, how are we gonna celebrate? How, how are we gonna, we gonna, pump gonna each greet other these up? guys? That's, fu- that's dude. That's so funny. What a sick way to greet people. I love how like they're like in real life, like Call of Duty, unlimited ammo skills. They're like, brr, 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 brr. <laughs> yeah, dude. I wonder if any of them are like, like kind of half assing it. Like you know, you're having a rough day. <laughs> you just let out and then, a couple. Then like people are coming in. You're like, all right, it's ceremonial. We're fucking <laughs> <laughs> just shooting AK into the air. <laughs> Whatever. It's great. We got horses. Apparently, uh, Ukraine's president was the president on TV. Like, there was a show in Ukraine that oh, was yeah, popular. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they elected a comedian. I think he was like, That's a comedian. That's what it was. Yeah, he was a comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty Damn. sick. Sick move. We should elect Louie. That would be pretty tight. Yeah. I'd vote for him. He's just vote for him. vote for him right now. <laughs> L- vote for Louie? Hell yeah. Fuck it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a genius. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be yeah. great. Yeah, we need someone who's played the president before. They did a mashup of, like, him on TV <laughs> and him in real life, and they are like... He doesn't lose his way. It was just him being like funny, and like he, at yeah. the end of the thing, he clicks his heels. It's funny to see Ukraine's humor. The president jumping up and clicking his heels, and everyone's like, <laughs> <laughs> they, they must have a weird sense of humor. Ukraine's been through well, the ringer. That's just like nineteen. <laughs> that's just us, like sixty years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Show someone in a proper setting, be like, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. oh my god, yeah. wow. They haven't gotten one liners yet. They have yeah. not. They're gonna get there. So disrespectful. Yeah. yeah, Ukraine's got some wild shit going. They got fascists, like pro Russians, well, communists. They got wild. Aren't shit. they like dominated by Russia now? Yeah, and like half the country wants to be Russian. Russian. Wants to be dominated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, half the half Ukrainians are subs. Really, <laughs> yeah, they're real fucking hard power bottoms. It's also like nobody's getting stoked on like your like Ukrainian pride. You be besides Ukraine fascists. Yeah, the fascists in Ukraine are like, dude, we're the best. But it's fascist v fascist. No, That's it's good. it's fascist v like commies. Oh, tale as old as time. Oh, yeah. Damn. Ukraine had a big thing. Like, in, well, if you lose to communists, aren't you like no longer allowed to be a fascist? Yeah, but then they would resist. There was resistance groups. Okay. So then, like, uh, is like, that the whole point of it? Being like, yeah, but fascism is better and stronger. And if you lose to communism, you have to be like, fuck. Mm, no one, no one's really ever accepted that. True. Ever. I don't know. I, I, no yeah, one's I, ever been like, you know what? Our culture lost. You guys are right. <laughs> like, ever. I thought fascism in general was like, communism sucks so bad, we're better at war, and then you lose in war to communism, and it's like, God damn it. It's got to piss you off. Yeah, it'll tick you off I'm a saying, little. It's got to tick you. It's got to tick you a little bit. <laughs> it's got to get you yeah. ticked. When they, yeah, when they kill your entire fucking town. You're like, yeah. ah, damn it. <laughs> thought we were better than Firing this. Firing off some guns. Yeah. <laughs> I don't no know longer if I like family, it. man. <laughs> yeah. I thought we were better at this kind of stuff. Nah, they, they, yeah, they, Ukraine had a bunch of that the whole time. All those countries did. All those yeah, but like, how shitty little ones. Ukraine be fascist? They were, in, the, in the fascism game, they like were crushed. Okay. Why? I thought fascism, you have to like inherently spread out and start like dominating everyone around you. No. You can just be isolationist and fascist, like we're the fucking yeah, yeah, best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, t- typically they try to expand. Yeah. 
But yeah, pretty tight. Yeah, there's fascist countries that just stick to themselves. It's a little teeny little country. I feel yeah. like I feel like it'd be a bad move. If I was a teeny little country, I'd be super chill. I'm like, no, oh, yeah, I'm totally chill with everybody, dude. What's going on? Here? Yeah, they do that. Don't dude, please do don't that. fucking the crush teeny us. countries do that a lot. <laughs> please don't fucking crush. Us, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they get crushed. <laughs> yeah. Who was it in in uh, every country like in Europe that tries to be like, no, we're neutral. Like you can't go through here. We're neutral. You got to go around us. Yeah. And then the Germans would just go straight through it. And they're like, like "What? <laughs> <laughs> can't believe you guys didn't listen." <laughs> next time, though, don't come through yeah, here. Next, next time. don't do it the next time. Oh, they're doing it again. Yeah. It's anyway, fucked. Fucked. what's it's up, bro? Fucked up, dude. I'm a. Uh, I'm stoked right now. So I, I had a. Uh, this happened a couple days ago. I forgot all about this the other day. It's I had this new, well, it's pretty fucking new. It's a. It's my interaction grid. I started thinking about okay. like my grid of interaction. Don't be don't be afraid to say my new thing. I know, dude. I, you were I, I about know, to. Don't know, be afraid know, to say it. Dude. I know. I got it in my it's head. Your new thing. Someone made fun of me about saying my new thing all the time. <laughs> yeah, you say my new thing, and my thing is. Yeah, th- my whole thing is. This is my. This is one of my new things. I mean, I I do have a whole new thing that I'm still working on, even unveiling because I, I, it's bro, too complicated. Bro, you're just you're unveiling new things every week. That's true. That's what the whole the point of the cast <laughs> is to sit down and hear you say that. <laughs> what new thing are you doing? It's my interaction grid right now. So right, right now, um, I'm, I mean, I've been reconstructing my entire psyche for the last like year and a half. That's, just a, that's dangerous. Ground up, <laughs> very not, dangerous territory. By the way, though. You very, do it very necessary. Very, un- it's very uh, unsettling to just just strip. I mean, Descartes did it, dude. It's, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, Same thing. You strip all your logical assumptions away. I did this once when I was like 23 and ended up with like a real nasty eye infection. So this is round. This is round. What? That's when I lived in my house of all like the straight cats. Oh, that's cats. when you were like, I'm just gonna let everything live in here. Yeah, I'm gonna oh. live in a. To- that's when I didn't believe in. Ger- <laughs> I didn't believe in germ theory. Yeah. I shunned germ theory at 23. I shunned pretty much anything someone told me was real that I didn't directly experience. I was like, I can't trust any. It's of sick. This. You went like personally into the dark ages. Yeah, at, yeah. Like, 23. It was pretty. Into it was pretty ages. tight. You're just like, yeah, germs yeah. aren't real. Well, it was that. funny. I had this because I like hated everything back then. I was like, I remember I was in college. I was like. Business, I was in business school. I'm like, this sucks. I don't even care about this shit. This is what everyone cares about. Fuck this. This sucks. And then I was just like, somehow, like, germs aren't real. And then, like, I was living in a house by myself with, like, stray cats. And I had, like, a ladybug colony. You're like, I don't want to have to take statistics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bring in the ladybugs. Yeah. Ah, my eye. That's, but like, I got to, fascist. dude, when you fully, like, swear that stuff off, you get to really appreciate, like, and this is my problem in class. I hear people have, like, this is so fucked up. Like our current culture and society, Western civilization. I was I had a legitimate beef with Western civilization at twenty three, and I was like, hmm, and try to shun it. <laughs> then like all it was one trip to the eye doctor. I thought I was gonna like lose my eye, and I was like, okay, I tap, I tap. It's sick. Damn. It's sick. You guys would have been a lot better if you lost your eye. To be honest, if I you know. A patch? If I had, is that that's Crenshaw, right? Senator Crenshaw. The guy with the yeah. futuristic eye patch, <laughs> the fucking James Bond bad guy eye patch. He should just get like total Terminator Salvation cyborg guy. The eye patch he has is ridiculous. You said it was like a fucking. It's a fucking like sticky. Yeah, it's a stick on. Just go patch, dude. You should get go classic wrap around. Wrap around. Yeah, you gotta go wrap around. Yeah, get like a sleep mask, cut it in half, dude. Fucking. I, yeah. I don't know if that would be good because he's a, he's a liberal too, right? No, no he's, no, a, he's, no. A he's, he's a pub, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah liberals pub. aren't oh. accepting eye patched candidates right now. <laughs> now Hillary they... Clinton already fills like the Bond villain role, dude. <laughs> yeah, yo. She dresses exactly like Minnie Me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she always does. Yeah, she does. Like, Doctor, yeah. She dresses like Doctor <laughs> Evil for real. Yes. <laughs> yo, Billy was de- Billy Black. Killed me hard on Hill Dog. Oh, about what? On H. What there's happened? Some fucking. Apparently, there's some vids. Oh, yeah. Q was hinting at it, dude. Well, anonymous apparently. Is anonymous at was it. threatening. Apparently, there's a video of uh, Hillary Clinton taking the face off of a young, young child and wearing it and dancing. What? Whoa, that's coming out. Well, you know what else? No, no, it's <laughs> coming out. He was really dumb, man. I was like, <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. Yeah. That's some Gotham City shit. Yeah, yeah it's a doll well, maker. Apparently, right what's yeah. coming out. It's not, it's not going to happen. What it, not, what's, it's, what's not going to happen. It's not real. <laughs> I got a feeling that one's not yeah. real. Well, <laughs> what's weird is apparently uh, Anonymous is talking about releasing a video of Bill Clinton having sex with a minor, which is a little more plausible. That one seems I, definite. However, what was just in the news, of the, and this is Spud pointing this out to me, what was just in the news for the last three weeks? Deep fakes. Like, man, look how good these deep fakes are getting. And all of a sudden, like, we have a video of Bill Clinton fucking girls. It's like, uh oh. Because I think a lot of these heavy news stories first start with someone being like, 
we have a video. You give us X amount of money, and they're probably like, fuck off. Yo, or they're how like, about this one? I went on to fucking Snopes.com to find mm-hmm. out if Ilian Omar actually married her brother. Yo, what happened? We were talking about that. Inconclusive. Even Snopes is like, we don't know. Bro. Wait a second. Even oh, yeah. Snopes was like, this is, we're not sure. Well, everything that like looks bad, they go, eh. I yeah, mean, yeah, what yeah. is a brother anyway? <laughs> yeah, Snopes at the bottom. It's like inconclusive. I Come love on, being your campaign manager, just coming up and being like, you married your fucking brother? You didn't think to tell me? It's like, yeah. ah, it was Somalia, dude. It was, a it was a fucking... It was but paperwork. She it was like me when I was when Brittany found out I was technically still married. I'm like, they're just fucking papers, dude. They don't talk <laughs> yeah, about yeah. my love. <laughs> but didn't she do it to, to become a citizen? Yeah, but I, it, if it's true... <laughs> Did they consummate, true. though? They, I think they Somali have kids. custom. Stop, oh, dude. I, I believe hold they up, have hold kids. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, yo, hold on. You're, I thought yeah, it was. I could, if it was, it was send a paper. Back, yeah. well, also, we need to we need to make this clear. Sydney is black. By yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, Sydney is black. I apologize. Sydney yeah, kid yeah. is black, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yo, oh, fuck. sick fucking hair too. Thanks, man. Damn. Hold up. Yeah. So you're. I thought it was a, a flat top going. That's That's nice. Get it going. Summertime, dude. I thought that that was just like her brother. Like, or no, I thought that was just, sorry, obviously it's a brother. I thought that was just like a paperwork thing. Yeah, and that's like, what's wrong with that? Yeah. <laughs> what's yeah. wrong with fucking your brother? I thought it was a paperwork thing. You're telling me they, like, have kids? I, I, I skimmed the article. True. So maybe I'm wrong. I think she has, yeah, I think she has kids from different, she also had a different husband in, like, London or something. Third cousin, no big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and one, then. One was a cultural marriage. She yeah, and then they get, they got like a cultural divorce, like you know, classic Muslim divorce, classic Somali Muslim cultural. Yeah, which divorce. I don't know if you. Yeah, I don't think Somali divorces are handled well. Yeah, uh-huh. in Somalia. Yeah, you're like, hey, husband, I uh, don't want to be with you anymore. I want to be sexually liberated. Yeah, I want to be sexually liberated. I don't oh, feel sure, fulfilled. No problem. And then it's like, but could you take me to the market, please? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I gotta go pick up, <laughs> get some oranges, please. <laughs> Take me to go get me a ride. I need you to take me to the lawyer to divorce you. (laughs) Every Muslim woman's like a fucking dude with a DUI that has a breathalyzer (laughs) in his van. He's like, listen, I got it. Can you give me a ride down to the fucking bowling alley? (laughs) Yeah, I think you can use your son. Like your son, once your son's like 12, can take you shopping. That's nice. Yeah. That's so, you know, but the thing, I think I might have said it on here. I could be wrong, but it was so funny when Trump was like doing like people were asking him questions. They're like, what'd you say? Did you hear about Ilya Nomar? or whatever her name is marrying her brother and he's like i don't know i heard that i don't know if that's true but apparently she married her brother i don't know and everybody on the left was like oh my god how can you accuse someone of this and then every fucking person on the left is like you know trump fucks his daughter yeah. it's like every day you guys are out there being like dude he definitely fucks his daughter all the time and she fucking his she retarded fucking, son his retarded fucking son he fucks his daughter and his wife's a yeah. slut and then it's like trump's like i don't know i heard Maybe she <laughs> married her brother, and everyone's like, "That's over the line." He's claiming yeah. that the chant was Send her back. was provocateurs. Oh no, it was me. <laughs> yes, it, was it was in the audience. Yeah, send Are you a black back. conservative, Sid? I mean, not hardcore. I mean, <laughs> like less than, like le- less than Matt. True. <laughs> yeah. I was about to Matt. say this is like I didn't want to be outshined in the black conservative yeah, 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 realm, dude. I'm, I'm actually it's like wearing I'm, white to someone else's wedding, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the Black Conservative Party is very humble. It is. Yeah, there's it no is. like, there's no true. showboating, dude. No, it, yeah. everyone's pretty chill. Black Just, conservatives, dude, when they score a touchdown, they hand the ball to the ref for sure, dude. Jog yeah. back to the huddle. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we let we let the the white black conservatives do all the celebrating. <laughs> true. <laughs> Take it to the house. That's true. I am kind of a fucking hot dog. You hot dog a little. I mean, you you you. If you would ex- if people would appeal to their better nature, sure. Well, yeah. That's what it is. It's an appeal to the better nature. Yeah, but that's not what people that's are. That's what I'm saying. Your better nature does not necessarily comprehend, comprehend reality. But even even like you're like you're like your like your your mild your mildly okay nature, right? So I mean, of course, I was joking around. I don't think Americans should be able to go anywhere they want to, although we should, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you can't have that because then you'd have people in China. Like just doing all sorts of disrespectful shit because Americans can go anywhere. They'll have that attitude. They'll be mad, yeah. Yeah, they'll just be walking in places with their shoes on and well, shit. That's true. <laughs> that's true. I wonder if that is like Asian rebellion. Like you keep the fucking BK Knights strapped up. Oh, <laughs> you go yeah, if you go yeah. into the parents' house. Hell yeah. Although I think there's like you would catch some. It would it would probably turn into like. Like a, like a kill bill scene of like bamboo versus like if they're yeah. hitting you with like a disciplinary bamboo as a kid you pull it up and you start bow staffing. It's probably too many martial arts skills for people for their own good over there. 
I mean, if you're beating your, imagine if your dad was just like beating you, but it was like a thousand punches of death. It was yeah, like, if your dad brrr. just had pressure points, like real good. Fucking yeah. Yeah. Just pass out. I wonder every how time. many Asian kids have been karate chopped by their dad. <laughs> <laughs> like at yeah. the dinner table. Like, f- <laughs> <laughs> just pass out and go into a seizure for nine seconds. I wonder if there's any like poison, like like mildly poison darts. You're just like fuck around with your brother. It's your. <laughs> <laughs> That's what early discipline was for Asian children. That's so? why they. That's why they bow. Yeah, that was just very... like them traditionally just passing out from the boys. <laughs> yeah. I would say that's something only talk. Well, <laughs> some comedians talk about that. They'll be like, "Yeah, white people don't know about that." Asian parents like beat us up pretty bad, but it's like Asian dads probably fuck their kids. Oh up. yeah, yeah. Like, you would like very those like, in the house flip flops. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those things must be. Yeah, dude. I wonder. They never explored that. Like the uh, the link of like. Like when Miyagi strokes his beard, that must have been like a lot of Asian American kids were probably like something triggered coming. a little bit. Yeah, by it. yeah. Or in the Kill Bill when he throws his fucking beard to the side. Imagine that your dad's sitting there and he's fucking strokes his super long goatee. <laughs> <laughs> Bring home that A minus dude. And he bicycle kicks you because <laughs> <laughs> the beatings you would need to be beat for a lot more. What yeah. do you mean? Well, a lot of like Asian Americans, a lot of Eastern Americans say say they get like disciplined, like A's. They, the whole thing is that like their parents yeah, don't get a accept. B plus. Yeah, they get a B plus or in serious trouble. Yeah. And they're also saying they get beat a lot. So it's like, are you getting beat for a B plus? I don't know. It's an interesting thing because I, I do feel like Chinese dads are definitely docile. You think so? Docile men. So, but yeah, you're you're. But there's Taoists and there's Confucianists. True. That's that's true. It's a fifty about a fifty fifty split. True. So, I think if your dad's a Taoist, he would just kind of go to the top of a mountain. You wouldn't see him for like 65 years. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. so, I'm going to get a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> it just leaves your family. No, he's just like, what is a pack of cigarettes? And just like, what walks even out, is that? <laughs> walks outside. Yeah, I was thinking, though. Buddha left the... his family. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sid Siddharth. 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 Yeah, Siddharth. Sid. Yeah, Siddharth. I call is him Sid. It, yeah, Sid. Uh, Ilian Omar, like, anybody that, like, sneaks into the country illegally or, like, I don't know. If, I don't have any borders I want to get to. But, like, if they were, like... You can never go to a Notre Dame game unless you fucking. <laughs> the only way you can get in that stadium is if you marry your sister. You yeah, would do it. But I gotta do something. Yeah, but then would you, again? We I gotta find out if she had kids or not. And at this point, I'm I don't know. Honestly, like at a gut level, am I really like? I mean, that's kind of problematic. When they're like, she had kids. I'm like, okay. Yeah, but I, I, I think wasn't like blown out of the water. Sneaking into the country and getting away with it is is pretty American. I fuck with that. Yeah, like that if, you, is, yeah. if you get in. Long enough to become a fucking U.S. congressman, or yeah, kind of yeah, whatever yeah. the hell she is. Like she, she made it that True. far. At that point, we have to be like, okay, you got us. Yeah, I think we should have like strict boundaries. But if you get past them, you're in. Yeah. You're like nice, definitely. Good job. Definitely. Pretty much, that's kind of the rule too. That is the rule. Like most people are just like, once you get in, it's like, well, do you want a job? Dreamers, dude. That's true. You, if you have, you know, if you have a child, he's in. That's kind of the rule. If you get in, people are like, all right, nice. It's kind of the best. It's like survival of the fittest. It's like what what better way do you make sure you're getting the best from the country? It's like well, we'll set up a really difficult obstacle course. Yeah, like gets through American it. American Ninja Warrior. You're course. a citizen. Well, apparently we like fifty percent of the immigrants come like fly in and go and like work in like specialized fields. Like it might even be like sixty or seventy. It's like a large portion come in from like Asia, India, other countries, and like go in like the medical field. But then if you have people come up from so- Central America. A lot of times, not all the times, a lot of times are kind of like lacking educational skills. You do want to make some like rugged physical obstacle courses to ensure that when they get here, you know, yeah, they're going to be able to work. We're yeah. not just getting lazy lads. Exactly. No. I mean, it'd be nice. I would like that. But yeah. it's like, what's the plan, guys? They're definitely giving them food when they get here. Yeah, for sure. No, that's but I'm not saying, what AOC said. They're giving them toilet water. That's good. It's good be- toilet water. Yeah, better than what I about to say. It that's, yeah. Could be good toilet water. My cousin filled up our teacher's water bottle with toilet water. Yeah. My, my, maybe my friend. My, I don't know. It was one of them. Took it. It dumped it in the toilet, filled her up. I hawked a loogie in my teacher's. Did you drink it? And he drank it. And then I sent him a note that said, how'd that fucking taste? Stop, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. What? Yeah, Did yeah, you handwrite right. the note? Yeah. That's ballsy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a ballsy. Well, you, you yeah, I've, told this, I've told this story before. I was drawing a... I was drawing a picture. When he walked in, I was drawing a picture of him on the chalkboard in front of the class with a dildo on his head. You never told me this. Yeah, I drew a dildo on his fucking head. Nice. 
Uh, how did you how did you specify it was a dildo in the picture, not just like, like a, a strap, organic like penis. a buckle, wow. like a strap on? Oh, his you're forehead. into that wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he caught me, and he was like, "Get the fuck off there, you fat bastard!" He called me a fat bastard in front of everyone. What? So I, I was like, "Okay." How old were you? It was high school, dude. Yeah, I was like a sophomore, or junior. <laughs> fat bastard. Yeah, yeah. So I went, loogied in his fucking drink, sat down. Uh, then I watched him drink it. Watch him take the loogie, too. You could visibly Ooh. see him oh. take it. And then I sent a note up, and I said, how'd that taste? Signed, the fat bastard. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah, and then he was like, I got to talk to you after class. Like, I'm not, I can't tell anyone you did this, but we're done. Does he know yeah. that you, he swallowed a longer? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I fucking <laughs> told him I did it. I did it and told him I did it. So he had choked on, you saw him I swallow saw him the longer. I drink it now. and be like. <laughs> I saw his face I was in the back of the class Just like yes There was no part of me That thought it was funny It was a pure oh, ven- sure. Act of yeah. Absolute vengeance Shit And then I told him Man And That's- he was like even Because he could have lost his job For that You didn't not tell I don't think he would have Gotten a lot of trouble you, It was Catholic, Catholic school? school Yeah He yeah, would have been Catholic clear. school he, he did me a favor True He had the opportunity To fucking get me like expelled Yeah at a Catholic school You can call someone A fat bastard And like Your yeah. parents and Especially coming. if they're like What was he doing <laughs> Yeah it's kind of Drawing kinda... a picture of me With a <laughs> An apparatus on my head <laughs> What kind of apparatus Was he a dildo head <laughs> No he was the man I, I liked yeah, yeah, him Yeah <laughs> Well, clearly he was the man. The way he handled that situation, yeah, that's true, dude. He swallowed. He swallowed longer. He was a young, young teacher. He was the man. To say, like, just be able to squash it like that. To say, look, we're done. That's man. Like, he was like giving you a lesson in some man to man shit, and also call you a fat bastard. (laughs) But that's on the table, though. You you drew a picture with him with a dildo on his head to embarrass him. Like he's walking, he he's probably seeing you as the man already. He probably already <laughs> yeah, liked yeah, you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then he comes in and he's like, "Oh, this fat bastard!" <laughs> he wasn't even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we were cool for a second. Yeah, and then he like, did. He did sit me down and be like, "You and me are done." Yeah, I'm not gonna tell anyone you did this, but you and me are done. Yeah, we ain't cool no more. It's just a shame because me and him are friends, but he caught me on a bad day, yeah. dude. You, you know, you caught him on a bad day. We, we, he you caught war, each other dude. on a bad we day. Got war. He did declare war. You technically won. I eviscerated him. How were you? Swallowed great? a loogie. And then what I class was this? Religion. Yeah, he probably still. He's my religion oh teacher. My <laughs> He's my religion oh teacher. God. You guys couldn't settle that a more ethical way between <laughs> yeah, the two yeah, of you. Yeah. Oh. That was religion. Oof. That basically sums up Catholic education. Yeah, just total war. Just <laughs> well, it's like war everyone preaching these like on the high, home front. Everyone preaching these like <laughs> half understood ideals. They're like super high minded, and everyone's like spitting each other's drinks. I'm like you fat fucking bitch, fuck you! Wow, yeah, that's man. like a perfect fucking model. Yeah, if you was, were thinking uh, about Catholic education for your child, that's a, that's a perfect commercial. That's a good lesson, though. It should just be a Catholic education. Should be like here at St. Thomas, and have a kid throw something. And the teacher's like faggot, fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, lesson for you or him? I think both. Okay, I enough. think for him it was probably don't get too friendly with students. Oh, definitely, because he was distance. new. He probably he was young. Oh, he was, you saved him from fucking a student. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That was, a a tough, long, that a, was the longer that saved his life. Might have been. Dude, he gets away with calling you a fat bastard, like yeah. knowing you were the man, and everybody loves that. Yeah, dude. He's definitely He was a week out from being, oh, Linda, yeah. you yeah. fat tittied bitch, sit down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Linda, you cunt. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, yeah. Damn, I'm not proud bro. of that. I was, I was, I'd I be, felt shame. As a kid, I felt shame afterwards because just the way he handled it, it's and like, it wasn't a, it wasn't like a haha this is funny type thing I did to him. Yeah, it was like a genuine like fuck you. I think what, whoever it was my friend or cousin or I don't think it was me. I think it was my friend or cousin. Whoever filled the teacher's water bottle up in the toilet, that was a genuine like fuck. Whoever did it was like fuck this bitch. And I remember watching it like oh. and she sipped, dude. She sipped it. it was like mm. she's like this tastes weird, dude. The whole oh. class is just like oh. Oh God! Yeah, as a, as a teacher, that when the whole class laughs after you, like this tastes weird. It must be like, oh my oh, God! Yeah. <laughs> she was so. What could this be? She was so dumb. She was like, "You guys are weird." No, oh, yeah, she yeah. So yeah. Dumb. no, no. There's no, in Catholic school. There are some Yo, dude, full retards you. teaching classes. Okay. This like l- like legit dude. Like legit dude, fucking morons. Teaching this lady tried to get us to read Les Misérables, and then like. We'd have to do like out loud reading, and everyone's like, "We're this book's boring. We're not reading it." No, everyone refused to read it. She tried reading it and just like she gave up. She couldn't. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, like, started, she, she started doing it. It was really funny. I remember. So she was like this big, 
She's like a, a bigger lady. Like it's like she loved the fucking flyers. She rigged a field trip so that we could oh, go to flyers. Yeah, yeah this you lady. Told me about this lady. Big husky lady. I remember. A, yeah, I told you this too when we talked. We had a big husky lady that loved uh, the Hershey Bears, dude. She loved hockey. Yeah, it's she so loved AHL hockey. It's so weird. Big, big studs love the NHL, dude. Yeah, dude. They the love spe- it's like a goalie ice. trapped in like a lady's body. <laughs> they just slowly have no choice but to bulk up. They yeah. just want to get on the ice. Yeah. Yes, dude. Well, there's there's Native American folklore talking about. There's like apparently the tricky coyote, and like it'll be a dude who'll stick his dick in like a strawberry patch. And like trick women, it's kind of. I think they're talking about this. There's dudes out here tricking. Yeah, it's a popcorn movie trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> doing it back then. Yeah, one hundred percent. Must have been sick to wait in a bush back then. Like you didn't have like food or anything ready, but you're like, I'm gonna put my <laughs> dick in this bush. Someone's gonna touch Damn. it. Dude. They must have done some just the craziest shit on oh earth. Like God, they, like no, like just there was no rules. I mean, there were, but that well, that's how the rules developed. <laughs> yeah, the rules developed. Yeah, like, all right, yeah. you can't put your dick as a strawberry. You can't do that. Yeah, the the first. Hundred rules are all genital related. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> there's dick tricks. A lot of them were, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's I mean, dick tricks. I don't like. I don't. I don't know if I have it anymore because I like. I, I scrap all my material. I'm starting over. But I had this joke about like early on, like men were probably fucking the dirt, mm-hmm. just like fucking the dirt, the For fuckable sure. fuckable dirt. Men still are. It still happens. Yeah. 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 Men are fucking every. I, know, I like ten guys that have fucked a couch. Yeah, I can yeah. say for sure. Like the first time I was on the beach, I kind of like. Was seeing what was good with the sand. I remember you know what I mean? in the sand and be like, okay. It's like, why not? All right. Why not? If you get the sand in the right direction, it's kind of smooth. Really? Yeah, it can be. You feel you feel the sand? Yeah, you kind of got to bore it. You got to yeah. bore it. You gotta watch you gotta, out for those you, seashells, yeah. though, boy. Never Ooh. fuck the sand. Yeah, you got to. I, I didn't fuck it. I just kind of like. You gotta, I dry hunt on it. Yeah, when I was little. When I was little, I used to, if I laid on something. Dick out or No, 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 no. Yeah, in your bathing suit, that might feel good. But it was just the surface. I was like, because like, like sand, you, it's like you can kind of, it's kind of malleable. You can like move yeah. it around real quickly and shape it. So I was kind of like, I remember just like digging out a little bit and getting like a little bird hump and being like, all right, man, I got yeah. a little foxhole for my bird. <laughs> remember being little, man. What's great is some dude like probably came by later, like some <laughs> some nature expert was like, well, uh, this is probably like a sea turtle. Like a baby sea turtle came out, right? <laughs> just some kid's dick imprint in the sand. I don't know what. What kind of animal made this? <laughs> it's just me looking up at my mom. Mom, stop. I'm like, I'm not doing anything, mom. That's too fucking funny. I remember my dad doing when I was little, we'd be in a pizza place, and like if people, if young guys were cursing, he'd go over and be like, You guys keep that down, huh? Yeah. Have some respect. And yeah. every, he'd do it like young constantly. white guys. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You don't hit a black guy with that. My, no, uh, to be fair, my dad's very... He would drive through Chester, and if he saw a young black kid with his pants down, he'd be like, hey, pull your goddamn pants up. <laughs> they'd be like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> yeah, my dad was pretty equal with it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Like, hey, put your fucking pants up. You look like a jackass. They'd be like, fuck you, man. Nice. Yeah, no, it is. It is That's it is easy from the car, though. Oh, for sure. That's not at the diner. Yeah. That's not in person. Yeah, yeah. that's true. I'm, I'm pretty fucking brave in a car. <laughs> that's true. I'll yell out some... Some hate, do you? You've seen it. Well, I mean, yeah, my dad was just trying to. Well, my dad was just I, I know you're not that brave angle. as a passenger in a car. What's that? I know you're not that brave as a passenger in a car. What Why? happened? Well, uh, Shane made me give up a spot to this dickhead. <laughs> so we were we were coming into Philly. Oh, I don't drive like a cunt. No, 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 no. <laughs> we're coming into Philly, and there was this parking spot. We were trying to go to an open mm-hmm. mic, and it was a parking spot. On a night when it's difficult to get parking spots on Sansom <laughs> Street, right? Oh, God. Beautiful, it's beautiful parking spot. Right now. <laughs> Even Shane, who can't parallel park, could have parked in this parking spot, right? Uh-huh. So I go to park, and there's this, this guy standing there. He's wearing, like, like brown loafers, tight, skinny jeans, like a, a cool, uh, like, athletic jacket, but for fashion, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, a wealth, like a wealthy white guy. And he's got this look on his face. He's just shaking his head, looking at me like, like nah, uh, yeah, yeah, nah. And I didn't like the way he was doing that. It was like he was trying yeah. to intimidate. Yeah, there was me a an old bit. woman in the restaurant, and they were trying to park their car in front of the <laughs> restaurant. You see this so shit? that the elderly did not woman know that. could get in the car. We did not we know, did that. know that. We once did. he said it, and when he said it, I was like, okay. When he said it, I you said sure? okay. But I didn't want. I wanted yeah, him to. Went, I wanted, nah, nah. but I wanted him to like. Because he was such a dick about it. He was looking at I you, wanted him you to looked sweat in the mirror, a little. And he was going like, no, absolutely yeah. not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, so That's then like, one way to look at it. Or he was just like, you can't park here. He wasn't <laughs> Shane, saying, no, absolutely okay, not. Okay, he was Shane, just standing there like, you tell me. Hey, was, was he saying it in a peaceful way or was he being I intimidated? I do not recall. Do he that recalls? Was, uh, that he recalls? I do not He's, recall. He admitted it in the car. So I do not recall. I did not admit anything. He was belligerent. So he was just being a dick. And so I was about to park there. How old was the lady? Well, we didn't. Did we see? We didn't it? get to see. We didn't get to see because we ended up leaving, okay, right? And uh, so it wasn't. He was the, like, "Hey guys, 
uh, my mom's in there. Do you mind not parking here? That's not what happened. Where was the car? Right. He was trying. Listen, he was trying to bully us, and then uh, so I started parking there, and then he's he's screaming. <laughs> was he he's really? screaming about it? <laughs> like about his mom come, and it wasn't his mom wasn't in the restaurant. They were they took the car around the block. And they're oh, coming back right, around. Right, and they were going right. to park the car yeah. so that she can have an easy walk yeah. to the restaurant. And he's like, he's like, he's like screaming this shit. And I then, mean, dude, if you come back and spots gone, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you're in trouble. Well, he's he's lucky. He's lucky because the fact that we took so long and like held that that area, having that yeah, back the car and forth, actually did show up. It, the car had time to show up and get that spot. Oh, that's so right? I'm sitting on passenger side. It's on the right side. So he's in my window. Going, I've been that dude. dude in a spot the before. fight's going over. I'm top in between of Sid and this guy yelling at each other. I'm new to the city. <laughs> yeah. I'm new to the city. This is first year. Oh my I'm god. The, months into living in the city, <laughs> where I'm just like, how are people? acting like this <laughs> how the fuck are people acting like this and, like, and it's like, oh. like Sid's like no point, way this motherfucker's gonna get the best of us and I'm like, <laughs> he's, he's not getting the best of us he's like why us he's like why us he's not getting the best of us and then Shane's We're like I, I think you just give him the spot dude it was like <laughs> here's, the, the fucking spot. here's the funniest part about it because Shane's a giant right Shane's <laughs> a giant so like I'm looking over and he's in, he didn't put his seat back, but he's like shrinking in the seat. He's just like so small. I wanted out like, of that situation. Dude, at one point, it's like I'm looking like past him. I don't even see Shane. I just only see the dude. dude. Yeah, it was crazy. Imagine you're in the car, and <laughs> just a black autistic dude, <laughs> <laughs> and some guy that's like, could, could you please, could, could you guys kindly move your car? My elderly mother is trying to walk into this ride. He's like, you're not taking advantage of me. <laughs> You think you can bully us? <laughs> I'm like, you can bully yeah. me. <laughs> That's funny because I get into this with Brittany a lot. I'll be like, a car will stop. And I'm like, all right, someone will stop the car in the middle of the street. I'm like, I'm going to I give it like two minutes I, or like a minute. I'll wait. Brittany will reach across from me and be like, Meh! and I honk my horn. And an old lady comes hobbling out. And everyone just looks at me and I'm like, yeah. I do have very low tolerance for that. Yeah. Well, Brittany, parked car in the street. I am. Well, here's, but yeah, exactly. But like, I'll like, I'll that. chill a minute. Oh, but Brittany's like, "Fuck this! Why would you wait? This is annoying." And I'm like, "Yeah, but like, I'm a white dude. If there's like an old black lady coming out of a house, and I'm like, me, me, <laughs> yeah. it yeah. looks yeah. bad. Yeah. So she'll, she'll reach. She'll, I've told her I banned her from the space of my horn. I'm like, you cannot. I'm driving, therefore I operate the horn. You are yeah. not allowed to operate the horn. It's yeah. a good move. But I will say is when she when I'm in the passenger seat and she's driving a car stop, she's like. I'm just sitting there like, well, that's what you get. You're in the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The same thing, the same thing at right. Walmart. She's yeah. right. The same that's thing the... at Walmart, dude. When we, when I'm like, I'm following behind her. She's like, excuse me, excuse me, move. I'm like, excuse me. See, like that's an the, old that's, Asian lady. That's the thing about that person in the relationship. Because I'm, I'm clearly the Britney in my relationship. Like, yeah. like anytime well, something yeah. like that happens, like, well, not just because I'm black. <laughs> but, but like, yeah, and, and again, I'm not saying Britney's autistic, but anytime something well, like happens, like the first thing Anthony does, she looks, at, she looks at me and goes, please don't be autistic right now. <laughs> right? Or, or if we're in like a, a, a merchandise situation where she's trying to get like a lower price on something where the prices were a little confusing, she's like, Come over and do that autistic thing you do. Yeah, use your power. Oh, yeah. yeah so dude. it's you know that's actually kind of nice. Yeah, Brittany, will, she'll get like she gets real hung up on customer service. So like she'll scold like you know you had a bit about being scared of the young black cashiers at Target. Yeah. yeah. So like they're, they're kind of intimidating. <sighs> yeah. Brittany will go up to them and be like like if, if they just start ringing up her stuff, she's like my day's going pretty well. How about yours? And she'll start like antagonizing like that. Yeah. yeah. And like like teaching them customer service, and I did, I'll just sit there like, "Hey guys, what's going on? What's yeah, happening? Yeah, yeah. What's going on?" <laughs> it's like I do when I see them like typing on their phone when I walk up to the yeah. cash. Like I just like I'm hoping that the interaction goes well enough for them to say something nice about me to work. Yeah. <laughs> or like posting. Like I just yeah. hopefully they're like, not fighting. Yeah, this guy just came up and checked out. He's pretty cool. Yeah, dope as shit. He had this white son. <laughs> just yeah, like, white ass son. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just trying not to have them. Like flip on me, yeah. Well, that's, you know what I mean. That's something me and Brittany fight about a lot. Where she'll she will perceive in her like day to day interactions, the big a big trigger for her is perceived disrespect. Where I'll be like, look, you're in your work environment, you gotta chill out, just like learn how, let people do their weird shit and just fall. But she's like, as soon as I feel like someone's disrespecting me, I fucking flip. So it's like, fair enough. But then yeah. it will my that's my point. She's where, like a good fella. But, yeah. <laughs> 
yeah. yeah. Okay, spider. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah. But my point is, I'll do the opposite, where I'll just let things happen, 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 happen and that's a whole yeah. different problem. But I, don't I don't know if that's a problem, because it's like, if someone disrespects you, like... Whatever, not even dis- not disrespect, but just like and this is my whole point of the inter- uh, interaction grid is you just like slow you put up with stuff at a, like an incremental level to where next thing you know you know you're married at 26 you're living in New Jersey all this happened through like very little like uh, concessions yeah it's tough though like I I, I get through that I do that a lot in stand up like forever I would just put up with anything. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, sure. I'll do it. I'll do it for fucking a hundred bucks. Yeah. I'll do it. Like, I'll do that. And then once you start standing up for yourself, it get it. People do hate you. Yeah. It's, yeah. That's true. Like, too. people are Tell instantly like, he's it. a fucking asshole. And it's like, nah. I'm well, just, you're, yeah. you're interacting the flow of all that interaction. It's yeah. like there's been this clear pattern. And as soon as you break it, it disrupts the whole grid. And then you just let yeah. it form back around you and whatever you lose and shake off. It's like, Psh. yeah. It's, it's weird because you, there is a way that people want to like treat you as you are uh, to them. That you kind of have to let them have, like you can, you know, you can't, you can't fight every battle of every no. person's perception about you. So you just like let them have that. Because like for me, I feel like a lot of people, like I come off as like an authority figure, as like overly intense, or as uh, <laughs> you, you know, this is my fucking spy, you bitch. Get the fuck out First of all, but that's the thing. I'm fa- yeah, when I when I, I get in those situations with the people, like so, the reason why I come off as autistic in those situations because I don't escalate. If also like they, if someone like, if someone approaches me being like no no absolutely no I flip out. Well, if that's I'm how the story is presented, to you. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. Or if someone's like, dude, Shane is completely covered. Like, dude, he it hit was, you with the white. He hit you with the white guy. Fucking we. Just that. Like, what do you look like? Let me see. Shades well, on, as, sunglasses. Listen, I'm gonna tell you this. When this we, three, when we, when yeah, we were three pulling, three years ago. When we, were, when we were pulling off, <laughs> yeah. The first thing Shane said was, "Sorry, I was a bitch in that situation." Now. In hindsight, do you think maybe I was trying to appease a autistic man who just got in a fight? <laughs> do you think maybe I was just like, this is meaningless. I'll just say this to him. Did you feel like I was hostile afterwards? Did you feel like I was like no, upset? Never exactly. Afterwards. Exactly. Yeah. So we, we were right back to normal. For sure. And you like, were back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> you were back. No, that's called yo, an autistic you're right. episode. You're right. I was no, he there was, like, what he the was. fuck was, it was that? Because like, for me, it's like, okay, now we're back to normal and I can start making fun of Shane. But he was still like fucking rattled by it. I remember, I remember seeing So it was like, I had to wait woman. for like two days before I could bring that back <laughs> you up You guys again. drove together every day. Yes. Yeah. I remember seeing an old <laughs> woman with a cane. <laughs> I'd be like, he wasn't lying. Yeah, no, he wasn't Just lying. Stop. He wasn't lying. He definitely wasn't lying. 